What's up, boys? Welcome back to another episode of Steak and Eggs. Of course, with me, your boy, Asmund Gold, Amaru, Tectone, and we have a guest today in the studio. We've got S-Fan. Welcome to the show. Yay, S-Fan! I'm very excited to be here. So, uh, you've been faking a neck injury so you don't have to play <laughs> classic hardcore. Is that so, right? So, it, it started out as faking. Yeah. And then I, uh, I thought that I couldn't get away with faking it. Uh-huh. So I, Is that uh, why you bought the neck brace on the website? Well, I, yeah, yeah. The, the fake neck brace. <laughs> on the prop website. The, I knew it was, it was real because he hasn't been live. Yeah. That's not normal. Well, I mean, I'm really trying to sell the uh, <laughs> yeah. to yeah. sacrifices, I, right? I actually also got in a car accident with a parked car on purpose. What? Oh, really? When? To... Uh, j- this morning, I, with I really like two parked cars damage. that got in an accident with each other. Yeah, both okay. cars were parked. Yeah, right. Okay, that makes so sense. That's how. Uh, that's rough. That's how desperate I was to really sell yeah. this neck injury. <laughs> yeah. So you've been getting through that. About when you're gonna come back to streaming? You've been chilling for a while, huh? Yeah, I mean, I'll I'll come back. He'll be back next year, guys. He'll be back whenever I'm back on my main channel. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. I mean, I, I I'm probably back already. Okay. When is when is this coming out? A week and a half. I don't know. Probably in like probably in like eleven days. I forgot. Yeah, probably. yeah next. Yeah. Actually, I'm probably I'm I'm probably live right now. Actually, <laughs> oh, that's crazy. check. The check. Yeah, hey, I might be probably accurate. The ones yeah, <laughs> that's definitely accurate. But what else have you guys been up to the past week? Uh, Mario movie came out. Oh yeah. Oh oh. Yeah. Can we talk Did y'all about that? see that? Yes, I saw it last night. Okay. Okay, so I went to go see the Dungeons and Dragons movie, and yeah. my buddy Mojito told me it was a five. Okay, and then he told me that the Mario movie was a nine. Okay. I go see that shit. And everybody was saying, "Oh, the critics are wrong. The critics are wrong." I really don't know what they said, but they gave it like a fifty-five percent. I feel like that's what it deserved. It was really not that good. I always saw really good things about it. I I I love Mario too. That movie was so mid. It was okay. Crazy. You love how many Mario games have you played? All of them besides Galaxy. I played Wait, all of them. Single one, tech tech. Okay, here we go. Mario, Super Mario, all of those ones. Mario sixty four, Super Mario Sunshine. Skip Donkey Galaxy. Kong. Okay, that doesn't Ooh, count. The first <laughs> Mario that's, game that's was actually, skipped. No. Uh, that's oh, not that a Mario him, game. I- Imaru, that's him. Imaru's trying to be cute and funny with this and clever, nope. but it's actually not true because Mario was referred to as Jumpman in the original. But that's movie. him. No, yes, no, no. They that's, called that's him Jumpman the for SEO. They wanted to get yeah. people confused <laughs> with Mario <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, nice try, though. And then I even played The Odyssey, which is great. No, I actually love the Mario movies. It's it's really fun. It's, it's like a spectacle. But, like, the story, I don't know, man. It, it is just the normal Mario story. Yeah. But, like, I don't play the Mario games for the story, bro. I play for the gameplay. So, if you just just don't you expect it. You wanted to go to a movie to play the game? Yeah. Okay. I will say, though. I can see why you're disappointed. <laughs> I will say, though, Princess Peach? Yeah. Bro, she's hot as hell in that movie. Really? Oh, my God. Wow. Bro, half the animation budget went on her lips, bro. I fell in love last Jesus night. Jesus That was Christ. Bro, that was crazy. That was probably a good worth. That was, that was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. <laughs> oh, the only thing that pissed me off is that they threw a blue shell, and yeah. then it hits the guy in second place. What? Yeah, that pissed me. Did you see it yet? No, I haven't seen well, it. No. Well, now I'm not going to. Yeah, it's pointless. I mean, yeah. I just, the whole movie was- Not even cool. accurate. Yeah, it, it pissed me. Like, how do you fuck that up? Yeah. Who doesn't know blue shell hits first place? They didn't Well, maybe the game bug. Yeah, that's probably it. Knowing a Nintendo game on the current Switch gen, probably. Yeah. yeah it was just a bug. Well, I, I have one crazy thing that happened this morning. What's that? Yo, I thought I had testicular cancer this morning. Let me what? tell you why. Oh, fuck. So, be- <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. So, before I go and meet people, I make sure to take a very vigorous shower. Okay? So, I'm, like, washing my balls like crazy. Okay? Well, huh, why like- do you wash your balls so closely whenever you're meeting people? Well, because I don't want anybody. Because, okay, so I used to go to the gym, and then you know what Swamp Ass is? Used to? Yeah, well, yeah, actually, here's the, I had this, uh, my buddy one time said I have swamp ass, and then I smelled horrible, and I was like, okay, fuck it, from then on, whenever I went around anybody, I, I washed myself vigorously. So why is your friend sniffing your ass? We had a very close relationship. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. So I'm washing my balls, and then I just see this huge black spot, and I'm like, Ooh. oh, no. And then I'm like freaking out, and I go to wash it again, and I can't find it. And then I realize... Uh, <laughs> the soap suds covered my hands and my balls, and I forgot I just got my nails done, all black, and I was just looking at my nails. Oh my <laughs> but god! I felt oh. So relieved, bro. I, I mean, that's, why? That scared I, the shit out of me. <laughs> so, so when mm-hmm. I was definitely asked, I didn't force myself onto the set today. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I was asked to come on the show, I, I wasn't expecting to hear like a, a very in-depth description. <laughs> To be fair, this story is pretty mild for the show. Yeah. Yeah, it's honestly not that bad. Yeah. 
There's been worse. Mm-hmm. We oh, like well, opened up. I mean, a I know there's things. been worse because I've watched every episode. <laughs> Let's go. We're actually at episode ten, by the way. That's a big milestone. Is it already episode ten? Yeah. Oh my it is. god, I can't even believe that. I'm flies. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that, let's see, what else happened today or this week? I guess the Mario, like, I, I think that you're so wrong about that. Please. I think that the thing is, mm-hmm. with the Mario movie, it doesn't need to be Lord of the Rings. It doesn't have to be Lord of the Rings. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, it It's just supposed to sell merchandise. That's what it is. Why do you think we get a new yeah. Spider-Man every five years? No, dude, I, I agree. I 100% agree with you, but, like, I don't know, man. First of all, yeah. Chris Pratt's voice acting was actually good. Uh, that was That was shocking. Okay, because the, the the trailer was like a, a collaboration of his worst moments. They also cut out Mushroom Kingdom. Here we come. They took it out. Uh, Seth Rogen is Donkey Kong. That was awful. Mm-hmm. I was not a fan of that at all. It didn't even sound like Donkey Kong, bro. Okay. You're just goofy ass laughing until we Wait, make the what pineapple the fuck Express. does Donkey Kong sound like? Uh, Seth monkey. Rogen, apparently. <laughs> a monkey? Yeah. Yeah. Donkey Kong. Like, okay. You, if you were to voice Donkey Kong, what would you? How would you voice it? Do it right now. I would just have a really, really deep voice, and I would imagine Donkey Kong as like that rap song in the one uh, that <laughs> Donkey, Kong, Donkey Kong is the leader here. of the bunch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> in fucking Super Smash Brothers Melee, that's how I would imagine Donkey Kong talking. But like, I don't know. I played Donkey give us Kong an example. Country. I I don't know how to do it. I have okay, no okay, fucking fine. idea. Emmy, will you give us an example? You want to be Donkey Kong? <laughs> I'm gonna give me something to say. Uh, what was Donkey, Donkey Kong, Kong say? Is, say uh, I I love bananas. Donkey Kong is here. <laughs> I I can't. <laughs> He's covering his face. He's already ashamed of me. You know what, Espen? Why don't you do it? I can't bear this. Oh, what? Okay, hold on. What do I say? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. I love bananas. Donkey Kong is here. <laughs> oh, I love bananas. Donkey Kong is here. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's pretty, that's good. pretty yeah. good. Yeah. So it's basically a tech tone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, manners yeah. are badass. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> love them things. Uh, oh shit! That reminds me of another thing. Uh, Emily taped herself to a wall yesterday. Did you see That's that? crazy. I saw that she did that. The I would never do that. I would fuck that, man. Dude, I'm thinking about taking it and plus wanting it. Yeah, thinking about just doing it in public. You should do tape a wall down. to yourself, dude. <laughs> I'm thinking about doing yeah. it on Sixth Street. Really? Yeah. Why not? That sounds like a bad time. <laughs> 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 that sounds People overwhelmingly do unspeakable dangerous. things to you. They're, yeah, they're okay. As long as it's clipped, it's fine. As long as they don't stab you, it should be pretty much okay, right? As long as I don't die from the stabbing, yeah. it's okay. Yeah, that's really what matters. Then I'll get Zenkai boosted, and then I'll come back stronger, like Goku. Wait, Zenkai boosted? Yeah. Is that whenever you eat a senzu bean and you come back ten times stronger? Oh, uh, so Zenkai boosts whenever you take damage and you don't die from it. When you heal, you're stronger. Oh, I thought it was yeah. just with senzu beans. I didn't know. No, nah, it can be whatever. Am I the only person that pretty much stopped really watching Dragon Ball Z after the Frieza saga? You know what? That is a super common thing. You know why? It's because they kept playing the fucking rerun before he kills them. Yep. They did that for three weeks. I said, I'm done. Yep. I I know a ton of people that they stopped watching Dragon Ball Z after the Frieza saga because not only that, there was a big, there was a a really long time between the Frieza saga to to the Cell saga starting. Mm Mm-hmm. There was also like a like a gap where um, Cooler shows up and the androids show up. Brawly, I think uh, too. Is that Brawly? Brawly's no, Brawly, the movies. It was the Brawly so movie. Long ago. I think it's set around the same time. Uh huh. But uh, yeah, there's the Brawly movie and then the uh, right. Brawly movie and the Cooler movie. Uh, King Cold comes with Mecha Frieza. Yeah. Uh, and then after that, Future Trunks comes. The androids come. Yeah. Through the whole android arc, and then it's the Cell it's saga. It's like a whole weird thing. The androids yeah. were before Cell. Yeah, yeah, because the the cell had to suck Android eighteen and seventeen into his yes, tentacle. Yes, yes. Yeah, and oh, then Vegeta yeah. takes a uh, seventeen's or uh, what was uh, the, the the stupid clown android goes <laughs> and rips his arms off, nice. and he goes like nuts. Oh, bro, Vegeta's so sick. And that's also when Vegeta didn't care anymore. He didn't care about being stronger than Kakarot. Yeah, and then something inside of him snapped. Man, I, maybe I should have kept watching it. That, that was, was like, kind of cool. I, I feel was. like the uh, like Dragon Ball Z was like the gateway to like watching anime for so many people. Like yes, I, I know at least it was. For yeah, me. it was accessible. Yeah, Dragon yeah. Ball Z and Avatar: The Last Airbender. Dude, Avatar: I never The Last that. for anime. You yeah, hundred percent. Oh dang! It was the most anime-like American cartoon. Mm-hmm. I just I walked, I looked at that shit. I thought it was stupid. Avatar? Yeah, yeah I, I didn't I watch it was, either. Stupid. It's really good. Oh my god, it's amazing. I've heard it's, it's I've heard really it's outstanding. I just I, I just no never idea. watched it. I also, bro, I've watched it on stream the whole thing. Yeah. 
Y- y'all could do it too. You ever do a subathon? Just watch the whole thing. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, it's good. <laughs> so I, I, saw a, I saw a video about an anime, and uh, it's called My Life as Some Girl's Dog. And it's about how this girl, this guy gets reincarnated as a dog. And then oh. it's worse. So, oh. um, so <laughs> Is this an anime or a Tumblr page? It, it's, yeah. uh-huh. it's on Deviant. It's going to go to DeviantArt. Oh. And so anyway, uh, the girl progressively gets a more and more sexual relationship with this dog what? and it's like so it's a 12 episode right, is, be- is this an, a new show new yeah. i haven't heard of this yeah. there's so many shows like that though the like reincarnation bullshit. Oh, the they're, they're just getting weirder and weirder because it's been done so many times yeah like so i'm reincarnated <laughs> as a spider yeah that one wasn't that bad was it It was cute wait what what happens with the dog do they so in the first episode she takes a shower or sorry a bath with the dog naked nice and then it escalates from there and so, like, you've got all the, you know, the... Dog naked? Yeah, yeah, you could say that. I think so. But it's like a person, and it's like all this crazy, weird stuff. And it did make me wonder if maybe it's going too far. Well, I, I mean, don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, that sounds like the exact premise of the B movie, only it's a dog. I never watched the B movie because I'm the not B five. The B movie is weird. I'm going to say it. Yeah, it's weird. I haven't, I haven't seen B movie. What the, how the fuck do you guys know what the B movie is? Isn't that fucking like sad? The B I, movie I feel, was, like, like, that was, that was like the the most popular like, animated show like 10 years ago, right? The, the B movie? Yeah, it was incredibly popular. I I, I read the entire script yeah, so before. like the the plot is uh, the it's main character is a B, right? And <laughs> I don't remember what happens. Like some, some chick's husband is like his arch nemesis. And then he literally cucks the husband. Yep. The human wife falls in love with the B and they like get married or something yep. uh oh pollination it's a, it's a metaphor wait mm-hmm. what the fuck mm-hmm. really yep. yeah. yes that's and real it's and like they're kid. selling that to kids yes yep. but oh. it, it, i think it was a good movie i think i remember I it was hilarious it. <laughs> it was probably good oh my yeah. god <laughs> it has jerry seinfeld's voice as the b and that dude's voice is hilarious to me my favorite movie what's the deal with that megamind is so fucking good oh, megamind is amazing megamind, i never pl- that. that one's so oh my good. god what do you watch bro uh well I mean I'm not gonna maybe I'll start watching this doc though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I kind of want to see it I I do it's like it, wh- how bad can it get well let's find out yeah like how how messed up is the person that actually made this yeah yeah it's like I always want to like anytime like I've been on the internet twenty years so I know pretty much everything that's wrong with people yeah and. Anytime that I start seeing it, I will always like look into it because it's like going to a zoo mm. and like you get to look at these people and the kind of stuff. Well, literally a lot of times in this case, it is like going to a zoo and, and like you'll get to see the kind of stuff that they're into and, and everything yeah. like that. And it's yes. like so, it's so crazy because like people have evolved to a point now where they can be sexually attracted exclusively to animals that aren't real. So so we're on the subject now. W- yeah. Would you say that most times uh, bestiality is bad, right? Or well, pretty much. Yeah. I think it depends. What is happening? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So like, oh, so, so what wait, is second, happening? wait, uh, uh, wait a second. So I yeah, asked. Yeah. There is asked, no wait a second. I asked all of them, <laughs> and I said, "What is your tolerance level for controversy and edginess?" Okay, yeah. And but I thought what you did meant, like politics? That's what no. you okay, thought. Okay, hold on, hold on. Well, I want to explore this. Thought. Is bestiality is not controversial. It's not that I don't big think of a deal. There's anybody who's remotely okay, saying well, you- that thinks it's okay. Well, hear me out. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like I said, anybody who's remotely <laughs> saying okay. So yeah. what? So what if it's like a centaur girl, like in an anime? And then you don't interact with the back half, just the top half. I'm not, I, no. I, I feel I mean? like, so that's the kind of stuff, that's the interesting yeah. stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. That's the kind of stuff that turns people into furries. Yeah, like okay, there's this one, one chick called Centauri. Girls are not furries. Are no, yeah, they are. They're not. They are. No, they are not. Yeah, they are. What? They're more human than animal. Well, I'm only interacting with the human half furries of the Centauri. Furries are anthropomorphic animals. So here's the thing. That leans into technically what Tectone is saying. What is it? What no, is yeah, you're, hey, this? welcome. Because if you're saying more, like if it's like 90%, I mean, in his case, it's 50%. Yeah, 50%. Or maybe what, 49? Probably like 41. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Okay, but how does like thinking a, a girl wearing cat ears looks nice mean you want to, mean you, you're into bestiality? Well, I mean, well, it's, it depends on what part's cat. So here's yeah. the truth. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. There's obviously a spectrum. Yeah, there is. And. There's there are the two acceptable <laughs> things, and then everything after that is being a fucking furry. Yeah. Cat ears and a tail, that's fine. Yeah. 
anything after that, that is on another website. So, so, so you think you would say like a plus or minus five percent, maybe ten percent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus or minus five, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, like five, five to ten percent. Nothing okay. crazy. Like maybe a little bit different type of eyes. Maybe like different facial structure a bit. You know, but nothing, nothing too crazy. Yeah, I, I don't okay. think that's like a super furry thing. Well, yeah, it's just like a normal, you know, just because because you have again, like <laughs> if if you think that's weird. You are so lucky mm. if you think that's weird. Cool. So, yeah. It, and it's like, I <laughs> I just don't get why cat girls get hate because, like, the Playboy Bunny. Yes, they do. No, they don't. No, they don't. No, they yes, don't. they do. Oh, by who? Oh, no. no like cat don't. girls have it so easy, man. They do. All yeah. the cat girls I know just yeah. waltz through life. <laughs> I'm just, I've seen people say that's furry shit and it just makes me angry. The to people my court. that are saying that's furry shit are 43. True. Okay. Like they play classic WoW. They're not. They're yeah. not typing it. They're. Uh, they're talking to Siri and they're telling. Them <laughs> yeah. Could you tell him? Tell him. They're the ones that are like. They'll type out like a whole well-written paragraph in like a Twitch chat of thirty-five thousand people and go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Honestly, whenever I see those, I feel kind of sad. Yeah, that's like, gonna, it's like they that's wanted it. to share their thoughts. They weren't just trying to like you know be a part of the emote wall spam. I will yeah. scroll up and I will yep. sometimes read the paragraph. I do, I do that every I time. Will, I will go through and I'll read it and I'll be like, thank God that we took our time out to read your stupid fucking opinion <laughs> about this. And like every once in a while, it's something that's like really good. It's like, hey man, I've been watching you for a long time. Really like the stream. I watch it with my dog, and you know it's like a good time and all that like i you know i lost my cat and so now i'm watching you it's like oh that's so nice right but most of the time it's like bro i think that you're such a fucking fake bitch <laughs> you're, so you're balding you're ugly you're getting fat nobody likes you i fucking hate you bitch it just goes on and on and on the uh have you ever stopped to read one of those things and you're like you know what? This guy's yeah. This guy's right. I'm I'm wrong about what I'm talking about. Speaking, no, I never. No, it's never happened. <laughs> so there's been a very popular um, post on 4chan going around. I don't know if any of you all have seen it. And they've the connected hacker? myself. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, the hacker. Um, it's his website, and so they've connected myself and Mr. Beast to a talent agency that we're a part of, which is called Night Night okay. Media. Right. And basically, they've just gone backwards. And now, according to a lot of these people, um, we work directly for Disney. <laughs> what? Like we are we are doing their work. This is we are part of the new Illuminati. And I think this is a compliment because it's like if if I'm that important, that this is news to me. I think this is, is, is awesome. Is that on poll or B? Both. Oh my god! I, I don't oh, know. It's everywhere. That. Like it's, it's not ironic. <laughs> I mean, I'm just asking. It's hard okay. to tell sometimes. It's hard to tell sometimes. I'm just I'm asking. Feel, I feel like a lot of times people do that as a joke. No, yeah. I, I think like I, so, I think yeah, it doesn't. Joke. It does. Either it starts as a joke and then people take it seriously, or people take it seriously and then people meme it. So yeah. what it is is like, haha, that's really funny. But I mean, like, really, this is kind of a coincidence, huh? <laughs> you know, yeah. and, and that's how it is. Uh, no, I, I these are the kinds of people where like some guy, I remember one time, uh, there's a fucking comment on my YouTube channel. Some guy said, man, this Asman guy, he is based. And then a reply to the comment that got more likes than no the way. original comment <laughs> said, Ratio. how the fuck can you say he's based? <laughs> He hasn't even called the Jews out once. Oh my no god! No way! Yeah. What was the video? It was probably about like <laughs> it was just he's not related at all. West. <laughs> 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 I, I think it was about like a uh, Genshin Impact or something. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. gotta be. It. Holy shit! Literally shoot. nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the way these people go. And and like yeah, I'll read these uh, these fan <laughs> fictions people write about me, and then like obviously. Some of these people, they'll read this and they'll be like, holy fuck, this guy, like Asmon and Asmodeus, which is like some demon, this is 
this is exactly what fucking Alex Jones has been warning us about. <laughs> this guy is in the Bible at the end of the fucking book. It's just the worst person. And and like they, they're like, they're putting it right in front of us and we can't, they think we can't see it. We can see it. Yeah. And then they'll come into my chat and they'll start, you know, trying to take me to task. They're going to say, you know what? There it is. See, it's not a fucking joke. Asmodeus, yeah. a prince of demons in hell. Uh-huh. We call him Asmode for short. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's you. That that's me. <laughs> that's Is that what Asmodan's <laughs> based off of in Diablo? Asmodan? Uh, probably yes. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm not really sure. I'd have to really think about it. Uh, Asmodan was a strategist. Act three, maybe that was it. I don't really know the lore of Asmodeus or anything. I just know people compare me to him because I have the same name, and so. Well, your name is Asmond Gold. Oh fuck God! I actually have it to where if you type Asmond. You get fucking timed out. <laughs> I, I'm so sick of this shit. Like, I've been getting called Asmond since I was fucking 16. How? Asmond. I don't know. Like, my guild master. Like, and he was the guild master, so I couldn't really tell him otherwise. <laughs> so I just had to fucking deal. And then everybody's, yeah, it's Asmond. It's like, okay, great. I, I don't, like, people just do that sometimes. Like, I, yeah. I always have Estefan. Estefan, yeah. yeah. People are like Estefan or Estefond. Yeah. That's another one. I think my dad did that at the beginning because really? he didn't understand what it was. I yeah, don't, I don't know what I don't know where it comes from, but it just yeah. people just throw a random letter in there. Oh, here's what I don't get, and I was hoping you could help me out with this. Uh, people who use big words all the time, like what? Like for example, uh, okay, this might not be a big word, like wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck yeah. is up with that shit? <laughs> you no, know, like there's these people who use these big ass words that I never understand. And it's it's like when I watch Hassan stream, yeah, and he says all this shit. Like, I don't know. Like, socialism. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Wait, no, but actually. Yeah. <laughs> but what the fuck? Okay, this is going to sound crazy. I don't know what a Democrat is or yeah. a Republican or or even to quote a great man. Um, y'all know Sear? So Sear comments this underneath my Twitter post, and I say, I'm going to an anime con. And he says in all caps, and breathe the same air as those libs? No thanks, I'll stay in Texas where the real men are. I said what I said. Cali is commie and full of clowns, and JFK Jr. is still alive. Wake up, this country makes me vomit, since Sleepy Joe and libs are running USA for money. Two weeks, and the Patriots are going to have everything back to normal, guys. Just two more weeks. I mean, I uh, would, you all go, don't know that that f- reference. Yeah, I don't get that. Yeah, I'm confused. Yeah. Trust me, like that's a, that's an even deeper level of the same thing. Okay, well, I I would call you based, but you know, yeah, you didn't even. Yeah, I didn't even bring him up. <laughs> <laughs> so so what's a libtard? Uh, well, it's a liberal. And what's a liberal? A libtard. It's a libtard. <laughs> okay. it's, it's a left leaning person. They're, they're, so yeah, you know, uh, like what left and right is, right? No. So like basically, uh, let's I don't I don't touch like the the political so, structure. Uh, it it depends because like now everybody just has like an identification, and it's like you can say, oh, liberals think this, and then they're gonna be people like, no, they don't, they don't think that, they don't think everybody should be treated equal, uh uh-uh. uh, and then other people say the same shit about conservatives. So basically, um, the side that you're not is the side of the people that have all the bad opinions. Okay. And the side that you're part of is the side of the people that have all the good opinions. Okay. And yeah, if you that's a pretty reasonable way yeah, of thinking. If you if you yeah, complicate it if you complicate it more than that, you're going to uh, run into problems. Okay. I, I I'm like 29. I've, you're gonna I've, confuse people. I've never used labels for nothing. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't specify with any have you ever voted before? No. There's no way you've, you've never, never voted, voted in anything. I'm voted you. No, really? am, I allo- am, am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've never voted. It's not illegal. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm like I'm good. I'd rather just play video games. Yeah. Did you get scared? <laughs> yes, I, I <laughs> did. Well, in some countries, I've never voted it for anything. Not yeah. even class president. Wait, wait, it's illegal to uh, not vote in some countries? Yes, that's right. Wait, you where? are you are compelled. Um, Australia, I think that it's illegal. Uh, and I think there's a couple of those European countries of people think they're better than us. I, I think I'll go out to yeah. vote when Dwayne gets elected for president. Yeah. Dwayne? No, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And then also Mr. Beast. I'll vote for those two. Okay. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I would vote for Mr. Beast. Same. You don't vote for the Rock? 
fuck it, yeah, sure. Why <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That'd be funny. Like, imagine if we had The Rock as a president. That'd be, so That'd be cool. like a movie, but it's like real life. Yeah. So. I'd never have an actor as a president, though. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. That would be, oh, man. Imagine that. <laughs> It's actually happened multiple times now. Dude, I speaking of which, I so I yeah. never watched the Back to the Future movies like uh-huh. from start to finish. Same. I'd watch them on TV. They'd be on like yeah. TBS or TNT or something as, as a kid, and I'd watch part of it. But I, I watched all three of them back to back. First off, absolutely incredible, phenomenal movies. Yeah. But they they made that joke about Reagan. He's like he's like who's president? He's like Reagan. He's like Reagan's an actor. He, he wouldn't be president. And it yeah. just, it was so funny how it was like history repeats itself. Yeah, time and just the whole warping of I don't know. I thought it was. Great. Oh, I think it's amazing. I I I love how now it's like basically. I was talking to you about this earlier, like before the stream. It's like on Twitch. How can you tell what's going to be entertaining? Think of the stupidest thing possible. Uh-huh. That's what's entertaining. It's literally that simple. Like there was a time that S Fan did a stream. It was Schlatt stream, and the entire stream was focused around dodgeball. And all S Fan did was sit there and stare at the camera. That was it. He did nothing else. He didn't say a word. Everybody was talking about him. Everything was about him. All the it clips were about him. Completely ruined. Nobody was watching the game. Nobody cared. That's all they were doing the whole time. Just and that that, that is Twitch. Yeah, it was horrible. Uh, yep. It wasn't remotely funny. And uh, it took no wit or uh, any degree of, uh, I shouldn't be proud of it. And I actually feel like a worse person afterwards. <laughs> but everybody thought I was hilarious. Yes. So, <laughs> I mean, I'll be I thought it was funny. Yeah. I'm depressed. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> I feel like on Twitch, I always think of, I remember one time whenever the Diablo 4 queues were happening, I kept turning off the game and then opening it up to get a different queue time. And my viewers were going up while I was sitting in queue. It's like, as I said, the dumber thing possible. It's like, you know, I'll get a good example. Imagine if you can't get a game to work and you start recording yourself with a webcam playing the game. Remember that? Yeah. Mm. I, d- yeah. I had another stream kind of like that the other day where I was just there. I was just like, man, I'm live, but I don't feel like doing anything. I turned off the lights, turned off Minecraft music and just sat in a blanket, <laughs> not speaking. And I went up in viewers. I went from like 20 to 22. I was like, was why? And then my what? internet went out. It's just crazy. That's probably a good thing. Yeah. So, so that's just, so streams have been going pretty well then. Yeah. <laughs> I have an idea for a stream soon. I want, I bought a McDonald's worker uniform on eBay. Uh-huh. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to become a fry cook in my room just to see what it's like. Oh, I thought you were going to show up at a McDonald's and just start. I would, you know, but I don't, working. I don't want to like get in trouble or be kicked out or anything. How about that though? Imagine you show up to a McDonald's. You show up for just work, walk in, and just try and clock in, and then <laughs> try, try to act like you work there, and then be like, "I've got to get a McFlurry for somebody in the back." Wait, All right, that- guys, I'll see you <laughs> later. Can you do that? Uh, oh, probably. Like, they'll probably I mean, call me. I mean, I would never do this. It's probably but, trespassing. But yeah, yeah I would 100 percent do that. For me, they would just kick me out. For you, they'd probably call the cops. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> I will do that 100. percent Yeah. Which means <laughs> I saw something that I never saw before in my entire life this uh-huh. morning. I took my buddy to Chipotle. Which was delicious, by the way. Yeah. And I forgot to order my buddy a drink. And yeah. he asked for a water cup. What the fuck? Dude, he got soda with the water cup. Okay. I've never seen talking that. talking to this guy. I've never seen that in my whole life, ever. And I was so taken aback because he did it like it was just a thing. Dude, he literally told you he does that. So you have to, the way you do it is like, so it depends on who's working there, right? But you have to do it and then stand in line of sight between the fucking drink machine and the cashier so they can't see you do it and it's like also you have to identify like you look at basically everybody else there is going to be on their phone right yeah but there's one guy who's not that's the manager and so you want to make sure he doesn't see you either because he's the only person who even has to pretend to care yeah it's it's a very common tri- triangle tactic where you're trying to yeah and you, you want to set up a pillar and yeah i just I mean, it's very I mean, it's just wow, wow knowledge that really breeds into real life. But it was my buddy. He's like a such, a, he's such a good dude. Uh, like he's so innocent, and then he just commits a crime. I mean, no, he's, let's no, be he's, real, he's a bad right? <laughs> okay. Those, it is fucking ridiculous how much it is. Like it, it is. I, I bought a drink today. It was two dollars and seventy nine cents. I thought not, I heard that most restaurants and fast food chains make most of their money from drinks because it costs like nothing. Goddamn right they do. This yeah. is fucking ridiculous. Drinks. There, there is a very big markup on the cost of drinks. That is true. Mm-hmm. But also, it's like 
we just shouldn't be drinking it anyway. We should we should be we should be drinking water and milk, and that's it. I think that they should make Red diet milk. soda illegal. And no. if you ask for a diet soda, they should be legally required to give you water. No. No. No, zero sugar Pepsi, bro. That's yeah. better than actual Pepsi. That's zero sugar I do think syrup. Diet, diet soda tastes like shit. It's disgusting. Nope. Mm. Oh, dude, zero sugar Dr. Pepper it is so one good. One time somebody gave me one of those, I, I I was actually mad drinking it. Like it was the most disgusting fucking thing I've ever had in my I'm life. I'm so sorry. I yeah. Dude, I don't think that you can actually <laughs> tell the difference. Really? I would I would put money on that. That would be a really good stream if yeah. like you blind taste tested like diet sugar free normal and see if you could tell which is. I, which. I, I will would, have you. I think he could. I bet. I bet you could. Actually. I will. I, could. I will have you know that I could not tell the difference between Coca Cola and Dr Pepper, but I could sure as fucking hell tell the difference between Coca Cola you sh- and sugar free. That Coca-Cola. would be such well, a good video. That's you because do diet that. Coke is disgusting. Is same with any of you. Zero other. sugar Pepsi, zero sugar Dr. Pepper are Wait, crazy. Dr. Pepper and Coke taste the same to you? No, no way. Everything tastes the same. I don't really have much of a sense of taste. Oh, my God. Well, I can tell. It's yeah, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> no, it's great. Like, I, I sit there, I eat my $2 steaks with a fucking plain baked potato. It is lean, it's clean, and I'm not fat. There you go. Yeah, that I works. feel pretty good about that. Well, if you ever want to try it, Asmund, I will bet you one thousand dollars that Being you cannot fat? tell the difference with a hundred percent accuracy. Oh. With a hundred percent accuracy, five different sodas, regular and zero sugar. There's no way. It's too. They're too good at it, man. They're too good at it. The calories are now optional. Okay. I I so you feel think like it's like a mental thing. It's a mental thing. It's not. No, I, <laughs> okay, no, I, I feel like I can. I can tell the difference for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I can. I, yeah, of I course. Think, I think it is very reasonable. Like if I, I think like you're a, coping mm. for the fact that you you're drinking an inferior soda. Well, well, <laughs> no. I also way. think this. It, does it taste that much worse? Yeah. I don't think so. No. I don't think it doesn't taste that much worse. Or, or I mean, you can even argue that some people might like the taste better. Uh-huh. But I think as far as being able to distinctly tell, like for a Red Bull, sugar-free Red Bull, and a Red Bull Zero, I feel like you you can distinct. Uh, they 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 have three distinct flavors. They're they're, they're they're outliers. Do all of y'all drink energy drinks? Yep, full throttle <laughs> is the best one. I don't one. care for them. They make me so jittery. It like, depends I get, on the like, one. This if I drink more than like, cause I'll have them sometimes. Like people giving me, I'll drink literally this much. And if really? I drink more, I'll be like, mm. y- you know what's funny? So before I started streaming, yeah, I did not really drink caffeine at all unless it was for pre workout. Uh huh. Mm. But then I started drinking Red Bulls because I thought it was the idea of a of a Red retribution Bull. paladin, yeah. Red, Red Bull, all that stuff. I thought it was a funny meme, mm-hmm. and that now I just drink them all the time. So you just got addicted for a meme? Well, it's not even. I'm not addicted. Like I don't. I don't. I don't like want it all the time. Uh-huh. I, I don't. I don't really need it all the time. Yeah. I just think it would be nice if there was one always there and it replaced all the other liquids that I drink. Uh, yeah, so. yeah. So you're not addicted though. Yeah, no, I'm not addicted. No, of course not. Or anything. Yeah. I've never I've never had an energy drink in my life. I never want to. Yeah, me neither. There's no reason to. They taste delicious. Why? I don't know. This the stuff they put in a full throttle, bro, oh my God. It is incredible. Most energy drinks take like taste like electric piss water. Yeah, and that's the Disgusting, good part. Disgusting. Right? Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. I don't like that. Because I'm skinny too, it's right? So it's like it doesn't take a lot. I, I like it. I like the, me I to like pop the off. I, I, I don't really know if I get jittery or not, but sometimes I do. It's hard to say. Usually that's just how I am all the time. Though. No, dude. Yeah. Dude, energy drink for mixers too, for alcohol is so crazy. Oh, that's so nasty. Dude, Red Bull and vodka is so good. I just. It's yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know too much about all that. Oh, uh, okay. Like, I don't know. I remember I had a friend of mine. Uh, we were celebrating. He got a job and uh, Best Buy. And uh, he used hawaiian punch and vodka he put them together yeah and uh then he put those two things together and put them on my my futon and i uh, threw up all over my fucking futon you threw up from a taste of alcohol no, no, he no. Did. He, oh okay he did okay, okay okay and uh yeah i i can just never i can never think of that I it's crazy because he still hasn't cleaned it this was 10 years ago <laughs> <laughs> what's well, on the other side oh I just so, flipped it, it flipped yeah. it yeah oh my god <laughs> No, I actually did, unfortunately. It was so fucking disgusting. You know you're actually supposed to do that? Like, flip your matches every six months? What? Yeah, you're supposed, to, you're supposed to flip your matches every six months, as well as you're supposed to open your windows for two hours every week. No. What? Yeah, apparently that's a thing. Says, says who? That, Google. 
Wait, probably people that are selling you windows. You have like you stagnant air. air. What is stagnant air? I just like not as good air quality. So if you care about air quality, just open your window for two hours every week. Hey, hey, Texone, you remember yeah. when we were talking about libtards earlier? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> true, brother. <laughs> Rotating your mattress regularly is important. That is, I've heard no, this. I can't, be- but I think it depends on your mattress. Now look up, look up the window thing too. I'm telling you, brother. I'm, I have I'm had, on something here. I have had the same mattress for 20 years, oh and my it's God. N- yep. And I sleep on it the same way. I use the same pillows, the same pillowcases, and that's just look, how it is. Dude, you see this shit? Prevailing wisdom at least five minutes. Prevailing, I oh, prevail, so that's bullshit then. Yeah, yeah. I mean, who? Whoa. Who's prevailing who's wisdom? prevailing? To get the baddies out. Sleepy Joe. What does that mean? To, what, to get Look, the yeah, literally out. it says yeah, the to ba- get the baddies what out. Is that, what does well, that Look mean? at the website, Aunt Fanny's. Like, what the fuck is oh, this? I can't help. That's the top I, of Google. Dude, the yeah. other website, the other website is a .co.uk. You know what the co stands for? Huh? Communist. <laughs> oh, <Okay. fuck>. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, I, I don't know about opening your fucking window, man. Like, I have people come over to my house all the time to try to sell me new windows. It pisses me off. So How are you going to get the baddies out? I, I don't need to. <laughs> oh, okay. Fine. Yeah, if I'm in the house, they're not going anywhere. <laughs> door to door window I've, salesman. <laughs> I've got these fucking moths, and they've been in my house every single day, and they went over to my dad's house. And I go over to my That's dad's nice. house. Yeah, <laughs> I go over to my dad's house to, like, I, I'm like, hey, you know, you want me to bring this over? I'm like, he's like, yeah, sure. I come over. I go on it. He puts me on a 40-minute side quest to kill these fucking moths. I kill 70 moths. What was the what? reward? Nothing. Oh, no way. That's a wow. Like, yeah, and and I, I had to leave. And the only way that I could tell him and convince him that I had to go now because I, I needed to go is that I told him if I don't leave now. Then I'll miss Red. No. <laughs> uh, the place I want to go to is closed, and I'm going to have to go to Whataburger. And I know oh. he hates Whataburger. What? So he's like, oh. Okay, yeah, all right, you've got to go. Wait, Whataburger is so good. It is so good if there's nothing else. It's good all the time. It's no, not I, as good all I, the time. Because I do think are, Whataburger is good, but... I don't think... Right, go, I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, go ahead. So, okay, Burger King is better. No, that's the stupidest I, shit I've ever heard. I don't agree with that either. Okay, well, everybody's wrong except me. <laughs> so, okay, dude. So uh, I think Burger King is better. I think uh, Shake Shack is better. Okay. Everybody knows that. Uh, Five Guys is better. No, nah, it's too expensive. Five Guys is expensive. That's good. So it's Whataburger. See, that, see, that's a millionaire take you just said right there. No, it, 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 you're right. Like, <laughs> I, I went there, and I saw on the door, they said they are hiring people for $18 an hour. That's crazy. 18 fucking dollars. I go in there, and I'm like, okay, let me just get some stuff in a milkshake. It's like $24. Yeah. Like, I could go downtown at a sit-down nice restaurant and it would be about that much. It's yep. nuts. How the fuck is it that expensive? I don't know. It's don't actually infuriating. And now, a word from our sponsors. Well, if one episode isn't enough, we got even more now. We started the Steak and Eggs official Patreon. Patreon.com slash Steak and Eggs. We're going to have tons of stuff on there, as well as behind-the-scenes footage, bonus content, as well as questions that we are going to answer from you guys directly. So if you guys want to be a part of that and see what there is to offer, take a look at it at patreon.com slash steak and eggs. Where's, the, where, where's like y'all's favorite fast food place to go to? Y- you know, I, uh, I think I like In-N-Out the most. Really? Actually, because really? because I think In and Out's ingredients mm-hmm. are pretty good, and I, I think a lot of people are you know people are in different In and Out versus Whataburger, but I actually like the In and Out fries, and a lot of people like that's like notoriously people dislike. Yeah, the I'm fries. not I'm not a fan. I don't know why I like them fries, so much. Fries are They're stale. Yeah, I, just, I, like I like McDonald's fries the best. Yeah, yeah. I think I think fries. McDonald's fries are. Yeah, they're uh, good. So also Chick Fil A, Chick Fil A fries. Actually, the best fries now are Wendy's fries. No. Nah. So. So, do you remember back when Wendy's was yellow? Yeah. Yeah, like the old doll store yeah, yeah, yeah. and everything was yellow? Yeah, right? yeah. The, Of course you didn't. But it was it was back like a while ago. And uh, so, back then, uh, it, the fries were amazing. And then, yeah, see, this was, this was back in like 
2003 or something. I don't like even that. remember that. That's crazy, actually. I always remember yeah. being red. Oh, I know. I have one of those yeah, cups in my room. This. That's so gross. From 2003? That's 2006. <laughs> so oh, 2006. Oh, that's not that bad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, anyway... um. I, I was using this, uh, the, the, this like these fries. I was eating them all the time. I would love Wendy's fries, and they changed the sea salt. And I fucking hate potato skins on fries. It is disgusting. Like it, it, it and not only is it disgusting, but it's lazy. It's lazy. Okay. And it's so obviously lazy. And they're like, oh, we're trying to make it n- more nutritious. Like, bitch, you're just trying to save money. Shut the fuck up. Okay. So. They were doing this at Wendy's for the longest time, and recently, I challenge anybody, go to Wendy's and get the fries now. They have completely turned things around. Their fries are amazing now. That's interesting. Yes. Because I was going to say, I like the skins on the, like, really? the Wendy's fries. The Wendy's yeah. fries and the skins, I, I actually do kind of like them. I, I, I think the Wendy's fries are so much better now. But Emmy is right. McDonald's fries are pretty much the best. Too. Well, I would say Whataburgers is, but I think they're heavily carried by the, their spicy ketchup, which I think is the best ketchup on like planet the, Earth. Whataburger has that, like, rancid oil aftertaste on their fries. What I'm the sorry. fuck are you talking I about? Do. I don't like it. You know, you know well, the best I can thing? taste the, the, She's the right. cooking oil. I've gotten food poisoning from Whataburger twice. There was one time I got food poisoning, and I remember as I was throwing up hamburger chunks through <laughs> my nose, I thought to myself, I am never going to Whataburger again. I mean, and I didn't what? for like a whole year. <laughs> wow, one year. <laughs> yeah, I, of course that was like ten years ago. I, I'm gonna be honest. Ago. I think you you just have had food poisoning for your whole yeah. life. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I think that like really I, I probably get food poisoning about once every three years. Mm-hmm. And like the one time that I uh, got food poisoning, remember whenever we were doing that big? Like, were you there for that? The uh, the big thing at Soda's house with yeah. everybody sitting there like yeah. writing things down. And I just randomly left in the middle of it. Yeah. Oh, wait. I was not there. Yeah. I watched it. Yeah. I remember you felt like ass. I uh, drove home puking all over myself. Yeah. I remember. Over and over and over. Pulling over. And I went home. I went to bed. I woke up. I felt great. I went, made myself a fucking steak. There you go. And I, I didn't go to that place for two weeks. Yeah, you know what's weird is is a lot of times whenever you get ill like that, uh huh. It it's... It hits really hard, yeah, and then it's over. I feel like it's a system cleanse. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's like restarting your computer. Yeah. I, actually, I actually beat food poisoning the other day. How's that? We went to Squeaks' barbecue. Yeah, and Squeaks was uh, Squeaks and his shit, and uh, you actually warned me not. This, this is funny. I can tell you about this. You told me not to eat the sausage. I told you. You told me specifically, do not eat it, and you even put your hands, you put your head in your hands when I ate it. Yeah. But me and Diddy ate Squeaks' sausage. And I only took a bite, and Squeaks, or uh, Diddy ate half that shit. Yeah. Okay? Diddy went home with me, uh-huh. and he, like, projectile vomited immediately yeah. from eating that. I started to feel what he felt. So I just sat down, and I slammed a thing at Alka-Seltzer, and I was meditating. And every single time I felt it coming up, I would just swallow it over and over and over and over and over again. Yep. And I just sat there for, like, an hour and a half, and then I beat it. And then I got up, and I finished watching WrestleMania. It was sick. I had that happen one time with a drug overdose. What? You beat a yeah, drug overdose? Too, too, took too much. Uh, so uh, basically, I, I got uh, two teeth pulled out, uh, two of many, by the way. Uh, and I was writing something, and my mom was sitting next to me. And I started, I started feeling my vision going away. And I started feeling my hands going numb and my feet going numb. And I, I started realizing I was having a drug overdose. And I was like... Because I looked it up and like that's what it was. And my mom, she's like watching, you know, TV or something like that. Yeah, and she, she grew up in the 60s and 70s. So she, I mean, she didn't even pause the video. <laughs> and, and I was like screaming and she's like, just because I was like interrupting her video. Yeah. And she was like kind of annoyed by it. And so she finally, uh, you know, she's like, okay, you know, just like chill out. And I, I had that happen the first time and it like really freaked me out. And so I took it again. I could feel it happening. And I was like, okay. I'm going to sit down. I'm going to just think about World of Warcraft and I'm not going to think about this happening at all. And all I did was think about like fucking Westfall or some shit for 30 minutes. <laughs> and, and then I got up and I moved on with my life. Uh, it was man. crazy. Westfall. Never took another hydrocodone again, by the way. Fuck that. Did, did you did you did you accidentally take more than you were supposed to? No, I'm like I, I like at that time I was like 115 pounds. 
And so I took a whole That's one. Wild. I took a whole one. I don't. I, I don't do any drugs. Like I. I actually. Um, I had a, a like a muscle relaxer thing that I would take for stress, but I've actually I've completely stopped taking it. I, I've moved myself off of it because it's like. Number one, I don't want to have to fucking call the doctor because then he's going to want to do an appointment and that's going to have to wake up early. And yeah, so it's, it's, like, a whole, it's a whole thing. It's fuck that. Right. But like also, I don't want to have to rely on some sort of fucking bullshit medicine. Right. And so I completely have pretty much gotten myself off of it. And uh, I, I don't have I, I don't I don't like to take any drugs. I don't like to have anything like foreign or like weird in my system at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. Like if I if I have to take some medicine mm-hmm. like for, for this neck thing, for example, that I've got going on. Yeah. Uh, like if I have to take something, I, I will, but I don't like, I, I prefer to just deal with it as much as I can. Yeah. Um, no, nah, not me. If, cause it's just, I, I just don't like the idea of I haven't like just cranking a bunch of like ibuprofen every day. Or I do the same day. thing, but I feel like it's stubbornness. Yeah. I don't know. Like I, don't, I actually don't know if it's stubbornness or like trying to be wise. I don't, I do the same thing where I'm like, I don't want to take any mess and I'll just get through it. Yeah. I feel like it's just stubbornness. No, the like, moment know. I feel bad at all, I'm a firm believer that 400 milligrams of ibuprofen, 200 milligrams of acetaminophen, and 16 fluid ounces of water will make anybody go from feeling a three to feeling a seven. Like, yeah. bro, they're, they're my, I'm a firm believer in modern medicine. Okay. I love it. I mean, I remember on the AQ Gates release, I had a tooth pulled, and I remember bleeding into my trash can and spitting out blood. While I was in agonizing pain. Wait, wait, wait. Did you have a tooth pulled? Yes. Or did you pull a tooth? I, uh, <laughs> I, I've i broken a piece of a tooth off twice okay. with a pair of pliers, but I've never pulled oh, them the out. F- okay. what? That's, there's no way. Yeah. Why'd you do that? Because I was trying to raid lead uh, Heroic Lich King, but the part of the tooth that had broken was stabbing my tongue, so I couldn't call out shadow traps in phase one. So I told them I had to be back in five minutes, and I just went downstairs with pliers and broke it off. Like two weeks later, I got invincible. Why? Why didn't you just move your tongue to the other side? It was annoying. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was <laughs> annoying. Yeah, it was a it was a pretty crazy time. I don't that that tooth isn't there anymore. Oh. So yeah, it's just another of example. Course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, another I would example. never have guessed. People always <laughs> people always say, uh, you know, don't ignore your problems; they won't go away. They absolutely will. I ignored my teeth. They went away. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Invincible is the one mount I always wanted to get in World of Warcraft that I could never get. That and uh, what, the Mecha Head? Yeah. Those Mimiron's two. Head. Yeah, Mimiron's Head from Yogg, Saron, and Invincible. I remember I told people I made a YouTube video about how Mimiron's Head is the best mount sound to be on while you're masturbating because it helps you pace yourself. And it was like a whole video and there were people that were like commenting. They're like, I thought there was something wrong with you, but I think that you're right. <laughs> Wait, I've yeah. never. Well, now I have to look it up. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm serious. Like, it's probably a clip. It's got to be like a clip from probably about 2017. Those were the real degenerate. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll pull this up. I'll, I'll, think, I'll test it. Yeah, of course. Well, you yeah. can't because you don't have the mount. Shit, bro. <laughs> why'd you quit? Why'd you quit Wrath? Me? Yeah. I I am uh, I actually did not have fun playing Wrath, and it's crazy because I, and I haven't quit. Yeah. I just haven't played it for four months. Right. Okay, uh, I I originally quit WoW in like 2008 or whenever Wrath came out originally. Yeah. I quit, and then I came back at the end, didn't like it again, quit again. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I just feel like I had such a massive. Uh, I enjoyed Burning Crusade so much. Yeah, you did. To the point where it it literally ruined all of the rest of WoW for me. And your stream. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I, I just I just <laughs> now I just don't do anything. There you uh, go. No, no. The what what happened is like I'm uh, man. I, I just don't really enjoy playing Wrath okay. Red Paladin. It's really? just not fun. It's uh, that was my favorite experience. For you Red know Paladin. what you can do to well, solve it, that it, problem is you can play Prot, the best tank in the game. Buy a fucking mile that is better than everything else. You don't even have to look at the screen. You're tanking everything. Yeah. You never die. You have a fucking death save on a two minute ICD. Mm-hmm. It's disgusting. Like Prop I'm Paladin actually very fun. Rolling. I I actually think Prop Paladin and Wrath is like one of the most beautifully designed things ever. It, but so fucked. On the flip side, 
Yeah. Like Rep Paladin in, in Burning Crusade was super stimulating. It was the seal twisting, the you know, within 0.4 seconds of your swing, you hit it, boom, boom, yeah. boom. It was like it was like you were dancing on your keyboard the whole time. Oh yeah. But then in Wrath, it's literally just like this. And it's there's whatever whatever lights up first, hit it. It's super it's not engaging, not yeah. stimulating. Um it, it wasn't even high performing. Now I talked to people at Blizzard a lot about like, dude, Rhett sucks. Like you guys have to do something. Yeah. And then they buffed it, but right. by the time they buffed it, like I was already like completely checked out. You're done. Yeah. And and it it was a PVE only buff. Right. It wasn't a PvP buff, which yeah. you could argue that I, I'm mostly a PvPer, right? Yeah, yeah. And you could argue that Rhett doesn't need a buff in PvP, but the play style of Rhett. Red is very good in PvP if you play this like preg build with yeah. like the spell power one hand and the shield and the it's shield this whole other value. thing that yeah. and and I like alternate builds and that that was like the whole thing when I first started making videos like you know 5 6 years ago it was about that kind of stuff like yeah. being doing like this cool weird stuff like off off spec stuff but man just something about uh the the fact that even considering using a two-handed weapon in PvP is like not really viable mm -hmm. uh in comparison to, to going with the other build is uh it's it's just not I don't know, it's just not fun. For it me. becomes that's all. so meta. It's like too meta, either, exactly. Either, like that's the thing is in Wrath, it, it, like people play in like one way. Like you have no idea. Like yep. Tecton, did you play Classic WoW at all? Uh yeah, I played Classic WoW yeah, for So if you were not doing everything the exact way that the website says to do it. You're a fucking loser, and nobody will play with you. Yeah, and you deserve to die. That's yeah, just that makes how sense. it is. Well, I, I I think what happened over time is is people got over that because it wasn't really like that on private servers, and then it was like that when Ver Classic came out for some reason. Because and everybody it, everybody is trying to peacock around. Because yes, it's like views were to be had. Man, I was I was so good 15 years ago. Like it was yeah. like that whole thing. Yep. But it, it flipped back the other way to where people like just kind of stopped caring. But now it's one of those things where. Just long story short, I think like Wrath Wrath of the Lich King feels like retail light. That's just what it feels yeah, it like. Yeah, does. To me. So it's it's like uh, it doesn't feel like the game is that much different anymore. Um, You're gonna play hardcore classic. I at first is I was that a like, thing? Yeah, yeah, and and it's it's it actually is really it's like, really I mean, good. It's content. like this crazy thing, right? So it's like you play it's crazy. like you play it's classic crazy. WoW, right? But you have to do it so you know how it's really slow. Yeah, you have to do it even slower. So, if you die, you have to delete fuck the character. It's crazy. Well then, well, then how the fuck do you ever go to Stranglethorn Vale? Well, you well, play on a PvE server. Yeah, well, most people play on PvE server. Oh, okay. The intention to, like, increase the difficulty, but it just is, like, more painful. It's just, it's just, uh, it, it's like an adrenaline rush thing. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. If, so, if I did a hardcore classic, yeah. I, I got a couple things. I, I don't want to stay, you know, on a, on a tangent about this for too long. Yeah, yeah. But for one, I, I've basically, I feel like I beat Vanilla. I've, I have every accomplishment, everything you could possibly ever want to do in Vanilla. You didn't I, get Atiyash. Oh, yeah, I should, yeah. Get, I should get an Atish. I should get an Atish as a paladin. And then quit. And just, just have it in my bags and put yeah. it in the trade window. No, but, like, I, I have basically any any accomplishment I could possibly want to have, I've done it in Vanilla. Yeah. The only way I would truly want to play is if they, they modified the game quite yeah. a bit and, like, fixed some stuff up or whatever, but that's a different discussion. When it comes to hardcore... Mm -hmm. If I were to go go back and do like a hardcore challenge, right. I would want to do it in a way to where, like you said, playing it really slow, trying not to die. Yeah. I my goal would be to have every single pull a pull where there's a chance that I die. Well, this I think that is the most what entertaining. You did, and like you got killed. Uh, I don't remember where. So you... so what happened was yeah. that's that's how I did it. I did it and I died at level nineteen. Yeah. Because I was and soloing on, level right? twenty elite ogres. Yeah. So I was like I was playing the game in a way to where literally I had like 10, 20 percent health every time. So what happened was uh, didn't you have a fucking like an add on or something like that that you would use to like make it look like you had no health or you had like 1% health or something stupid like that just to bait people? I did. Or was that something else? No, no, that was something else. That was the level. Oh, yeah. I, I, well, anyway, so S that, that was a well, we should was, we should tell these two different stories this separately. Is, this is so fucking so was this Wrath or Dragonflight? It, it was it was literally both of them and dude, it all oh. Everybody, so S fan goes and he changes his he he photoshops his literally photoshop on OBS to be like instead of like seventy like seventy eight while everybody else is seventy two and people kept coming into my stream. S fan's already level seventy eight. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. it what the so fuck? Hard. How did he get so far? 
And then I would do I would do the same thing on the flip side. Yeah. I hit level 80 already. And yeah. I would just leave the level 78 up there. How oh, are you dude, level how are you still level 78? You're terrible at this game. <laughs> like, and I'm doing arenas. Like it's yeah. like I'm doing content that is not even accessible until level 80. Like it's, it's, well, I don't need to be 80. I'm already beat. I'm that good. Right now. <laughs> I'm that good. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. Hey everyone, if you're a smart shopper, then you're always trying to find the best deals on tickets for shows and events. Luckily, our sponsor for today's episode, SeatGeek, is here to help. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. I attended a few events last year, such as Anime Expo, and with SeatGeek's help, I can make sure I get the best deals moving forward. With artists like Taylor Swift, Drake, and Beyonce on tour, you're not going to want to miss out. Plus, SeatGeek does more than just get you good deals. Each ticket they sell is rated on a scale from 1 to 10, so you can buy with confidence and save money in the process. Every ticket is also backed by their buyer guarantee, and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets before the event with swaps. And you know what came through for you guys? Use our code STEAK for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code STEAK. S-T-E-A-K. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app today. I think that's the best thing about Classic WoW is that the people that watch Classic WoW only watch Classic WoW. There are a lot they, of them. And they actually predate the internet. Yeah. So they, they, like, I, a lot of they'll those. be like, I don't know about this whole social media thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I don't know if this whole thing's going to pan out. Like, yeah. what's this? So you can, so you saying you can make money on the internet? <laughs> what is this? Some kind of a porn thing? <laughs> oh yeah. I do. I do truly miss a, a lot of stuff about classic though. Oh yeah. Well, those, those are the ones that, uh, those are the yeah. ones that hate cat girls. The classic, the classic yeah. WoW players. Cause they, well, you it's, really they think so? Them. Well, apps, apps of fucking lootly. I do think like, it's changed a little. So, like, I remember watching that video about the girl that has the sexual relationship with the dog. I remember and that. I was thinking to myself, it's not a sentence I this I'd hear. is the way that classic players feel about cat girls. I think, I think that things have changed over time, though. You think so? I think, I think that, uh, now a lot of the classic players just don't care about anything and they're just completely over it they're just like they just gave up yeah which is to be honest that's just the way to be man yeah that is it that is i i feel like it's it's a pretty good spot right now but um oh i didn't i didn't tell you i I didn't talk about how i died uh I just remembered, but it's not you died to a fucking ogre i died in really paying attention well there was there was here's what happened yeah they're they're leashed there's a mage ogre and then like a a bruiser ogre And what was happening is they had a shared leash. So I pulled both of them. That's fine. I'll just hit the bruiser yeah. while while strafe jumping back the whole time. But I didn't know this. Why strafe jump? Because you can run full speed, jump, turn, keep your facing the same so I can still parry and attack. Oh, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, boom, yeah. Boom, yeah. boom, 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 boom. Now, I end up doing this for no joke across the entirety of Lock Madon. Right. So I go, I go from the the northwest corner of the map all the way right next to the dam, mm. and I didn't. I'm like, why is this mage not leashing? Yeah. So I'm I can solo the bruisers, but the the uh, the mages are doing like 250 damage with the fireballs, the fireball yeah. or something. And I'm like, I'm like losing my mind. I'm like, this thing's not going away. Right. Now I just keep going, and I'm about to kill this thing. Now if I had stopped attacking, they both would have gone away. Yeah. I didn't stop attacking because I wanted to kill the bruiser while this thing's going on but i end up running into a massive camp of dark iron dwarves and oh because oh, yeah, you oh. tried to go up through because i'm uh, trying to run yeah. away and i'm not looking behind me right and i just i and i just go all, dude it was so bad it was so funny though like, like whenever classic wow came out you guys might not understand this but people actually made hate videos about me and s fan because Same. of the way that we leveled yeah they said eight videos, eight Literally. videos. Like but I'm every, talking they, about, they would like, just talk about you. And one talk of the shit. most, one of the most popular posts on Classic WoW of all time. Asmongold failed Classic WoW. Dude, <laughs> oh, you! Did. I am not kidding. It, it is it, like it is mental illness personified. Yes. That whole thing. And, and I remember I read the it's whole insane. thing. I was farming it for content. It was absolutely crazy. Like those people, like I, I have never seen anything like that before in my life. But how many people agreed with it? Seventeen thousand upvotes. I'm pretty sure something like that. 
in, in, insane. Yeah, oh, here, here it is right here. Now 18. it's up to 18. Yeah, what a surprise. They must have watched me play Wrath. Well, the, the thing is, is yep. like... Has yep. even given him my Twitch Prime. This is real? This is real. The, this the, is, look at look at the amount of up dudes. I, I feel like at a certain point... That means it's real. I feel like there at a certain point, people were upvoting this because they thought it was it was so insane. It was fun. No. There, there had to be... Nobody some. was... There. No, you know what? I'll say it. I agree with this guy, man. <laughs> You know, Room. I feel like I feel like he's on to something, man. 18,000 uh-huh. people can't be wrong. Of course not. Yeah. <laughs> Roofing with other players all the time. There's a million reasons why we all wanted classic. Wow. But I think it's really sad that he and many streamers shit talk BFA forever. And they said they would play classic differently only to go around begging for gold and items. That's true. Yep. There we go. Oh, yeah. my God. I yeah. And the thing like, is, don't. Can't they just not watch? So then, <laughs> just don't watch. No, no, no of course not. Uh, what else would they have? Nothing else to do. Uh, so then, on top of that, there was a guy who, uh, you remember, I was telling you about like ninja looting, like what that was, yeah, healing loot. Yeah. So there was a guy, Mike Gill. Does name remember Royson? Oh my gosh! He this quit now. What? Yeah, just so. yeah. Yeah. Royson. So. Royson was a mage, right? Human mage, a dwarf mage, or no, no mage, I think. No. And so this guy, the most expensive item in the entire game drops. And Edge he Master's says, hand guards. Edge Master's hand guards. He tells everybody there's like a rolling system and you can roll greed or need. And if you roll need, you have priority over people who put greed. He told everybody to greed. He fucking need rolled that shit. Fucking stole it. There was another post on that same subreddit about Royson stealing this item, it got more traction than TwitchCon did. It was at the (laughs) same fucking weekend. And I came back, and I remember, like, the whole, like, my my Reddit was on fire. Like, Twitter was going crazy. Like, I was getting, like, notification after notification. And it wasn't people like, hey, I saw you at TwitchCon. I was like, fuck you, you piece of shit. You're protecting this motherfucker. You want to go ahead and do that? You're going to ruin classic like, even more. Item, huh? And in the meantime, this guy is literally yeah. just in Asmund's guild. Like, and Asmund has no idea this is going on. Like, no, is that, I, like I, they I think, did, like, Asmund's the puppet master, and he's yeah. like, I to, like, I told Royson, him do, do it. Ninja yeah. the Edge Master's hand guards. <laughs> like, like, shut it down. Shut it down. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, what the hell is wrong with these people? And so, so the guy, like, finally we come back and we have a massive duel between him and, you know, Quinn 69. Yeah. Quinn duels Royson because Royson stole the items from people in Quinn's guild for the honor of his fucking guild. <laughs> Quinn beats the <laughs> fucking shit out of him. <laughs> In front of like, I, I think we had like eighty thousand people Dude. watching this shit, and, and then apparently after that, I'm pretty sure he quit the game. Like, class yeah, hell with wow. Royson though. Right? Had, F Royson. had the <laughs> the funniest and the stupidest drama ever. Like, I almost want it to come back just so well, I can farm it again. The, the thing is, it was really entertaining. Like that, that if you if you think about it from like the third party perspective, now I I think there was a degree of legitimate well, insanity. Oh, there and, was, and like remember, people are completely crazy. So Jigsaw. Oh so my there gosh. was this guy Another Jigsaw, one. and I made all these different guilds called Olympus. It was like Olympus one, two, three, four, and five, and he took over one of them. He said, "We're not going to listen to Asmongold anymore. We're going to change the look of the tabard, and we're going to do our own thing now." Yeah. And he says, we're going to make Olympus great again. We're going to make classic great again. And he said, and so he called everybody out there to have like this big speech in front of everybody for the guild. And it was in front of the Stormwind gates. And he says, we're going to build a wall. And he fucking turns around and he points at the wall of the fucking castle. He says, it's already done. Oh my God. Dude. I want to. I'm going to be honest. I I adore. I adore my guild. Yeah. And and everything my guild crusade has done. It is still yeah. alive and kicking. There's there's tons of raid groups. It's it's an overwhelming success by yeah. by all means. But with that being said, I I did a lot of whenever classic came out. I played classic. And I didn't stream classic enough because mm. man, a lot of the community I content. Asmund streamed it. Yeah. You know, I, I like, I, 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 I was a, I was a good boy and I played it the right way and stuff, but it's like it, nobody, it, it doesn't way, he matter. He did not play the game the right well, way. He still got hate threads. 
everybody still shit on. They still shit on. It didn't me. matter. Yeah, it didn't matter at yeah. the end of the day. But like, do y'all still? I do shit? love my guild though. Do y'all still get shit for what y'all? My leadership for what y'all did to today. Yes. No fucking way, bro. When does it go away? Because <sighs> like, dude, there's some shit that I did like two years ago on Genshin that I still fucking. What did get. you do? Uh, I insulted a character singing. I said I thought their singing was bad. No, no, it's got to be. It wasn't two years ago. That but, was, okay, but like after, that was a year and nine months. Okay, yeah. imagine, imagine, imagine. <laughs> but what if it wasn't more than that? What do you mean? What if it literally, there's a character called Yun Jin. Okay. And I said her singing was bad. Oh, her. Yeah, no wonder people were upset. Mm. Bro, when, when am I allowed to forget about this? You're They're not. not going to. And also, like, you don't ever come back to the game. I don't. Like, you have to come back to the game every once in a while, farm the Genshin viewers, and be like, hey, guys, I'm back. And then two days later, you're fucking done. You never come back. That's what you need to do. So so you're telling me that I should go play Genshin right now? Well, I don't know about right now, but yeah. pretty Okay. Do you, do, you, do you think I should release a video called My my Honest Opinion on Genshin Impact and make, like, an hour and 40 minutes and make everybody watch the whole thing? Absolutely. Well, you, know, you should hold them at gunpoint and make them watch it. Absolutely. Now. You <laughs> should, should do should that. Should I go get in the treehouse? Yes, absolutely. And, and then <laughs> okay. sit down and then also react to your own video mm. on stream and true yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I do that all the okay. time. Okay. Yeah, true. It's a great idea. This, this is releasing. Okay. All right. Today, yeah, yep. You'll be ready. Man, yep. I, I, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I think, I think sometimes, like, it's, it's good to take breaks from games. Like, it's good, it's good to yep. take a break from Genshin or, you know, for, for us, like, it's good to take a break from WoW. I, I like, you know, I, like, you and I both have been doing this, where it's like we've been playing yeah. other games, doing variety, doing all kinds of other stuff. But I think I, I think sometimes it's, it's just nice to, I don't think it's, you don't need to quit. You can just take a break for a little bit and then go back. Like, yeah. I, I will probably go back and yeah, I still haven't I, done Olduvar. I will right. do Olduvar. Yeah. I will do ICC at some point. I just don't know when. You know, I'm just... Yeah. I'm doing these other things. Like, gonna come back for Shadowmorn, guys. Yeah, I'll, I'll make sure to get the Shadow. Yeah. Dude, that's how Nick Nick. So NMP is trying to get me to play. Yeah, and he's like, man, we don't have a Shadowmorn yeah. recipient. You know, we need somebody to get the Shadowmorn. It's mm -hmm. like this amazing legendary axe. Mm -hmm. I have it in my garage. It's like the best. Axe. It's, yeah, it's like the best. It's axe. so badass, dude. But but like, it is badass. It is yeah. sick. But uh, Nick is trying to get me to come back and raid with his raid group to get a Shadowmorn, and I'm yeah. like. <laughs> I just don't know if I got it in me. We'll see. We'll see. I'll probably come back at some point. Yeah, maybe. I mean, and just play a little bit. Well, like, casually. what's the... What's I'll like stream the, it. I won't play it if I come what's back. What's the longest drama? Like, for example, like, what's the drama that, like, five years ago it happened and you just can't live it down? Oh, me or the community? Anybody. Oh, my God. I had, I had drama with this other content creator. Yeah. Back when I played Arknights, okay. right? And... I, so, fuck... Somebody yep. made a thread <laughs> on my Reddit about why we don't like Tectone. This shit, I'm like going this like this. I'm scrolling and I'm fucking looking through this shit. And it's like, where did this come from? Yeah. I saw this section. I, I've, I've got to see if I can find this. This is Wait, fucking really? nuts. Yeah. And Bro, was, these, these people just legit make shit up. So much so where it makes me feel like I have like dementia. So, and so I just you don't basically, remember. Basically, you ruined this dude's life. <laughs> that's that's what is that what okay. you did? No, there, there, there's so many kind of. I, I know who you're about to say. You're about to say. I'm not gonna say the whole name, uh, but it, it rhymes with that Banks. Okay. Is, is that is that who you're about to talk about or no? I don't. I don't give a fuck who this person. Okay. Is. Well, let me tell you about this first one. Yeah. Okay. So there's this other kind of critter who will go unnamed. Okay. Unless you think I should name them, which I'm more than comfortable with doing. I mean, but, it kind of depends on. Okay, well, anyways, it's content creator. Oh, my God. This is just a... Uh, what this, the fuck? It's not actually the real one, too. Uh, there's no, Oh, there's another one right there. Another one, yeah. There you go. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. Wait, can I see this? Yeah, sure, bro. That's oh insane. Okay, so the, this is the first big drama I ever had. There's probably another content creator in, in Ark Knights. Oh, that's the, that's right? the short version. And, and it started off with this one character, Yeah. Uh, and their name was Spectre. And I said Spectre was a boss killer. Because if you get this character, you, you max it out level 80, right. you can use them as a boss killer. Okay. Okay? And you put them in front of the boss, and they have this button that says they cannot die for 15 seconds. And That's they are doing really good. insane damage. So the boss should one-shot a normal unit, but with Spectre, they don't. Right. Because they can't die. 
It's like Trindamere in League of Legends. So you grind, 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 dead. And I use it as a boss killer. This other content creator said, uh, actually, it's not a boss killer. Okay, and I heavily disagree. Okay, and I'm like, okay, well, I think you're stupid because every boss in the game can be soloed by this one unit. Yeah. And I thought it was done. A year and a half later, right. I get involved with drama with another content creator. Yeah. Because they said Zhang Li was really, uh, really bad, and I actually said actually Zhang Li's very good. He doesn't need a buff because they decided to buff him. And this contractor comes from the woodworks and says, "So actually, I had a very serious issue with uh, Tech Down, and uh, in our DMs, he was actually gaslighting me, bullying me, verbally harassing me." And I'm like, "Okay, I keep receipts of everything," and I'm like, "All right, here are all the DMs we've ever had. None of that." Absolutely none of that. Actually, the, the DMs we had was me helping them, getting them in touch with the developers, helping them with their channel, getting them an editor, okay? And then they say, oh, so it turns out I don't know what gaslighting means. But unfortunately, <laughs> nobody saw that. And they deleted the post, but everybody heard about it, so I'm still getting shit for that. So, so every single big drama I had is meta talk. So here's the other side of the story. Yes. What's funny about the, I'm going to, redact yep. the name thing is tech tone helps instigate shit somebody responds back and then acts gung-ho and then he's like some anime protagonist literally going talk shit about me all day but never my friends bro acting all dead serious like you literally do that for a career man it's an old habit dude literally picked a fight with some other random creator because he rated his new shiny genshin character really low in meta and usefulness the other creator ended up quitting content creation because of mental health impact that Tectone and his kid fan base had that, that it was is, too much okay so the yep. guy did regularly this, this, attacked other genshin creators unprovoked calling their content shit because they don't do what he personally thinks is entertaining it's that's the, not even half dude it's the biggest load of bullshit it's totally fake yeah, there's, it's, there's it's no way kids news. watch you it's all <laughs> yeah. Yeah. dude it's insane okay the, the, the first guy i mentioned that's from arc Knights. the other guy you're talking about right. is from genshin still does genshin oh well, they, the, one of them quit. It was a duo. Uh -huh. Oh, my God. That was insanity. Oh, my God. People will come into my stream to complain about you sometimes. Yeah, and then you know what you should do? What? Just, just be like, okay, just se send me it. I'll be, Show me it. No, I'm just like, that's so true. You're totally right. <laughs> it's it's crazy. By the way, we have a new episode of the podcast out. I'm going to link it for you guys. Make sure to go watch <laughs> it's it. It's in the title. Dude, yeah, there you go. <laughs> dude, I get that I'm a dick 100%, but I just wish I, dude, I, I know this part of content writing. I wish I would actually be shit on for the shit that I did. Yeah. Rather than people just make shit up and say, hey, remember that That's one time? That's what people get most yeah. mad about is the stuff that they like that think is real. happening or that they perceive. They've just like manifested it, it in their own. It, it's insane. But I will admit, I do have a rule on stream where people can shit talk me all they want, but you're not allowed to shit talk my friends. So because you're an I, anime protagonist. No, no, it's because I'm getting paid, right, for yeah. being shit talked. My buddies are not not are not getting paid. Uh -huh. We're getting paid in exposure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, okay, so, like, Emmy, have you, do you, do you have, like, any drama from, like, fucking five years ago that refuses to die that, like, people just... No, I, I mean, I've never really, like, had drama like there's been like moments where like you know like stuff happened with other creators that like i was like kind of involved in but not really or like i have like embarrassing moments or whatever but like i don't have any like drama or like these like really obscure events that people hate me for at least not that i know of i could be wrong yeah i mean i haven't heard anything you so no do you think that's weird because the moment anybody talks to my friend in my chat i ban them <laughs> is that just, weird it's like, like, uh, that's not weird. I, oh, okay. I, if anybody comes in there talking shit, starting trouble, I ban them on principle. Oh, okay. It's, like, it's just like, get what is the fuck yeah, out of like, here, pussy. Okay, nobody cares. Fuck you. It's literally nobody, nobody wants cares. to hear it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's that easy. Mm. It's like, you know what you say? You say, you know what? If you really hate Tectone, hey, a new episode of the podcast came out today. Go check it out. Yeah. You can hate watch Tectone there. <laughs> By the way, if you really hate Tectone, the Patreon just released. <laughs> well, go, <laughs> go ahead and subscribe to the Patreon. The, what I do is I will ban people, and then when I do, they will go and they'll be like, oh, I'm going to submit a ban appeal. And like sometimes people will talk shit to you, and I'll oh. ban them, and I'll be like, "You have to get S fan to unban you." <laughs> oh, and, and actually have That's them, so yeah, good. have Dude, them unban them. One of the craziest dramas I ever had. What's this? Up? Was this was this was probably like the last 
big drama that happened yeah. is that one of my old friends, I am no longer friends with this guy, got in drama with another content creator. Okay. okay? And so they're going off at each other. And then the other content creator says, oh, yo, here's my opinion. I just uh, cure his glasses from Death Note. So it's actually not you saying this. You're being Tectone's puppet. And everything that you're saying is coming from him because my buddy had, like, no viewers. Oh, right. right? Okay, but he knew that he was connected to me because we were buddies. Yeah. Right? And he is he accused this guy of being my puppet right. to attack him. And then I got dragged into it for no reason. And then he made me leak DMs again. And this guy, like, I opened up to, like, uh, I told him everything. like Because I was very good friends with this guy. Yeah. But then, like, he made me leak DMs because I had to prove to him once again. Because he said that I was shit-talking every content creator in DMs. Yeah. Uh, people who I were very close friends with. And once again, none of it was true. But for some reason, nobody sees that part. It's insanity. Oh, it is yeah. insanity. No, nobody nobody sees, everybody sees the accusation. Nobody sees the resolution. No. That's how it works. Absolutely it's, not. It's, it's that's, disgusting. That's, well, it's yeah. more entertaining. Yeah. Right. People. People don't care about the news. It's, it's not. It's not interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, this thing wasn't true. Sorry, guys. Nobody's gonna click on that. <laughs> yeah. well, and that's the thing. Then you have like the lowest common denominator who like they don't they, they don't care about it, right? Mm -hmm. But then that's the masses. So well, like any time that like there was one time I said something about Amazon and it turned out to not be true, so I retracted it, and people were like, "Oh, so Jeff Bezos paid you then?" <laughs> <laughs> There we go. I mean, that's that's the most reasonable. Absolutely. Assumption. Well, it was it was a new world fan base, so that's mm. the only community that's even more conspiratorial than the uh, than the WoW. Bro, I wish that game was good. Really, uh, dude, I love New World so much. It was probably one of my favorite MMOs I've ever played in my whole life. That was it was so fun. The gathering system was fucking just. So I still good. play it. I, I've been playing it a bit more recently. It's good. Is it better now? It's better. Yeah. I mean, is it good? I mean, it, it's getting there. I mean, it might be worth a try. See what it's like. They added a battle pass. They made the game pay to win. Uh, you know, what I always thought would make New World really good is if you could have private New World servers that you could spin up, like uh, almost like a GTA role play, mm. like a No Pixel. Imagine if No Pixel ran a New World server. That would be incredible. Where Imagine. where you had like their own rules and you had to role play it. And I think it would actually be absolutely phenomenal content. Imagine if New World could roll a server and spin up a server that could hold more than 2,000 people. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that would be that's, way. But see, it was pathetic. It was the most pathetic shit. It's like you have Amazon Web Services, the biggest web hosting in the entire world. They say, guys, this is our big flag flagship game and just to show how great we are the servers are capped at 2000 that's it it was the biggest joke Not good. oh my god that be it pisses me off so much even thinking about now and then they increased it to 2500 and they thought they solved the problem but but you know what is crazy if it wasn't for a world where like there's there's a like a, a superstar streamer yeah that is like hey i want to have this community of people the people who watch me come play here yeah if you didn't have that I do think that number of people is is plenty to have like a good lively server that actually plays well. Yeah, the problem, yeah. The problem is, is in in the current year, it just doesn't work. Yeah, I just I love I love being on the big server with everybody. I remember, you know, whenever I went from like my old Warcraft server to Kel'Thuzad, it was like fucking you know kid from the country finally moves into the big city, yeah. and it was so fucking badass. I loved it. And, like, now, like, going and playing those games, I hate how many games are segmented off. Like, I love playing online games, and everybody is in the game. Like, in Tower of Fantasy, it's the same thing. Like, y'all played that shit. How many times, Emmy, have you ever seen another player in Tower of Fantasy? Very, very rarely. It's a joke. Yeah. It, it makes me so fucking mad. And then you can look at the chat. Chat's moving. But, so it's like everybody's in their own fucking just channel. Instance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're in shit. their own instances. It's so annoying. Yeah, I, I think a big part of the the MMO experience, or yeah. and, and really, I would say not just MMOs, but all online. It's games, online. You, you want to see other people. You want to feel like you're in a living, breathing world. Like nobody wants mm -hmm. to play a dead game. Or That's game why Diablo Four dead. was good. Yeah, yeah. Because you could see, you, yeah, you could see people could running see around the city. You you're could right. Spec them too. Yeah, I, I actually really like that. Yeah, I went, dude. I I talked to somebody. Right. I went and I was trying to talk to them. I well, I went. I asked, "Hey, do you want to be my girlfriend?" And then they ran away and they didn't say anything. To yeah, me. That's but it was cool. I mean, just the <laughs> potential. Yeah, she could have said yes. She you know? could. Well, it would have been she. Well, I mean, yeah, it was probably. Why would you? 
yeah, well, well, it'd be, it would be weird, weird to play like a girl character if you weren't, right? Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I played a druid because it looked just like me. Yeah, of course. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, actually. Was, yeah, the, yeah they I really so hope bad. they get buffed. Holy <laughs> fuck. But, like, but you know what, dude? I actually liked playing it. Like, I liked how, like, I liked how it played. It was just weak. Yeah, it's like basically the the yeah. the, the, the like, worse the class is, the more clunky and badly designed it is, the more S fan likes. Yeah, it's kind of how it works. Why is it? Yeah, dude, I like this thing where it's like I'm like hard mode. Let's do it. Like, yeah. I, it's just like a, I don't know. That's the thing I have. I guess I don't know. I I just like I I hope that there's gonna be like a new big game to come out that everybody plays. Like I feel like there's not that game right now. Like Valorant is the closest thing that we have. Uh, probably <sighs> what the ride MMO or the ride sure. fighting I game. Mean, like yeah, oh yeah, counter. I think everyone will try that. Yeah, any then, ride game. Pro- Project L, the the fighting game. Yeah, the fighting Fight game. Rub. Ride yeah. MMO in in like you know five six years. <laughs> that comes yeah, out. really. Uh, I do think. Counter Strike Two is going to be that game for a little bit. I don't think so. I don't. I don't think it's going to be for long. But I think everybody is going to. Oh, Counter Strike Two. Oh, people are going to play it for like a week. But the yeah. truth is that the people that play Counter Strike are so ridiculously fucking good yes. at it. Yeah. And so that, that's that's like, exactly what's going to happen. You're going to have all of these casual, you know, like oh, let's play Valorant with you know all of our friends, and there's going to be some sweaty fucking Russian yep. who's yeah. sitting there and he's watching this po- th- this yeah. this open. Opening, and he's been watching the same fucking opening ever since 1998 yeah. and he is not gonna miss whenever yeah. you come by there and I, I don't i don't think counter-strike is gonna have the same type no, of, of course it's just people are too fucking that's why i'm not gonna game. play valorant bro it's just yeah. people are way too good it's so no, no, there's way more skill weird. range in valorant i do yeah. think there's a way bigger skill there's range. way is more there? skill range yeah i, I think been, you can get into it no matter what skill level you are you've been playing a lot recently yeah yeah and i'm i'm not good but i still have fun yeah, emmy has been playing a lot. Like, like I actually, tried a lot of people in our friend group have been playing. Yeah, I just started playing, mm-hmm. and it's it's fun. I mean, I'm I'm because I used to play a lot of Counter Strike Source. Mm-hmm. So in middle school, I played every game until like seventh grade. Yeah, and then in seventh grade, I I like specialized into WoW and Counter Strike Source, and then in like ninth grade, I specialized even further just into WoW. Like when a Burning Crusade came out, I went I w- every game, and then in like I don't know fucking like eighth grade or something like that yeah. uh it's like maybe ninth grade i don't remember uh halo yeah. every game fuck that halo maybe smash brothers melee and i played halo 2 every day yeah that was my game and then i played halo 3 and then i played wow and then that was it yeah that's it's literally the same like we we have yeah. like dude yeah we the, did the same shit the first time me and asman met yeah. we or not, not it wasn't the first time we met but the first time we really talked yeah was uh, I was I called you up about a, like a idea for a video or something, and it was like eleven. It was so nine. there was this dude, and it's like this classic WoW guy. I don't want to use his name because I think he's trying to live past all the drama and everything. Yeah. But this fucking dude went to war against me because I said that it wasn't a big deal to have sixteen debuff slots on an NPC in molten core. Okay, and I said it's not a big deal. And everybody was trying to talk him off a cliff because he was starting like a civil war inside of this community. <laughs> and that's where I met S Fan and I talked to him about it. And um, and he like he actually knew what he was talking about. And I was like, what the fuck? This is actually a person that plays classic WoW that should not be in a mental institute. <laughs> I didn't know this existed. And so then I remember I, I called S Fan and I was running ZG. And we talked until like 6 a.m. Yeah, legit. About fucking stupid shit that happens in a working class Texas high school. Dude, it was <laughs> it was legitimately a, a five, six hour conversation yeah. of us just sharing stories back and forth. Oh my like, god. Wait, yeah. you did that in high school? I did this in high school. Wait, I did this. And it was yeah. it was all like adjacent stories. It was uh-huh. like you're going through a timeline. Of our entire like high school lives, yeah, and it was like, oh, this happened here, this happened here, this happened here, this happened here, and it was it, it's so I, similar. I had never so talked to somebody who did the same stupid shit before, yeah, because like I would always talk to other people, like, yeah, remember whenever you used to get a water bottle, fill it up with rocks, and throw it at cars, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then and then I told you about like, the no. story. I told you about the story. You told me that, and I told you about the story yeah. of of uh, whenever I threw it at my dad's car <laughs> and I broke the the driver's side uh, with, yeah. uh the mirror, a yeah. bottle full of rocks. No, but it was it was we had rocks outside of our house because we didn't have yeah. like a paved 
we didn't have like a paved driveway, so yeah. so we had rocks. So I would take them and I would try and throw them into the into the uh, like the green belt area, like the little forest area. Uh-huh. And my dad parked his like 1980 Volvo out there, yeah. like a little station wagon, and I and I threw it and I just. I just hit dead center on the uh, on the driver's side window, and he just never got it fixed for like not never, but like it took forever to get it Jesus. fixed. Jesus, did he know it was you? Oh yeah, oh like, yeah. I, I mean, I, I I snitched on myself. I was Gosh. like, Dad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't believe this. Yeah, yeah. I, I broke one of my own windows, and I immediately went in. I'm like, man, mom, some fucking dude just came by through a rock <laughs> through the window. <laughs> I can't yeah. believe this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what I yeah. would do though. Man, one thing that I did do whenever I was little, I, I did this whenever I was younger, and I stopped doing yeah. it as as I got older very quickly. But uh, because my parents found out, and I was like, mm-hmm. okay, I cannot lie to my parents because yeah. I'm pissed. I, I I took a pen and I was drawing on the windowsill, and like I don't know why I did it. I just I have a very vivid memory of pushing really hard into the windowsill with a blue pen and just doing yeah. this and just drawing. And my mom was like, "Who did this?" Mm-hmm. And I I blamed it on. I blamed it on one of the kids. I blamed it on one of the kids that like hasn't been to our house in like six months. Yeah. And she's like, no, it wasn't. Like you're just lying. <laughs> yeah. It hasn't been here. And then I and then I, I stopped lying then because I got scared. <laughs> and now a word from our sponsors. A huge shout out to World of Tanks for sponsoring today's episode. World of Tanks is a free-to-play warfare themed MMO where you can take control of over eight. 100 tanks and battle for supremacy in over 40 unique arenas. Rush in, guns blazing, ambush your opponents with sneaky tactics, or hang back and take them from afar. How you play is up to you. Jump in and immediately experience the same thrill as 100 million other players, or interact with a global community of gamers who share your passion. And that's not all. With World of Tanks' commitment to historical accuracy and inspiration, you can feel like a real tank commander taking part in an intense armored offensive. So if you want to start playing today and support the show, check out the link in the description. Plus, as a special bonus, new players can use the code TANKMANIA to get a number of benefits, including the Tier 5 Tank Excelsior, 250,000 credits, seven days of premium access, and three Tier 6 rental tanks like the Tiger 131, Cromwell B, and T34-85M. Again, check out the link in the pinned comment and the description, and thank you, World of Tanks, for sponsoring today's video. I I have so many of those stupid fucking stories. Yeah. I could just go on for hours and hours and hours about. We that. have because yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, that's the thing is like that was just that was totally normal. And uh, yep. I, I just I wish there was like that game because like classic WoW was that for 2019. Among mm. Us was that for 2020. Mm. Oh, I missed that no, so much. No. Oh, well, this please. was pretty good. It was. It, 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 was but it, so but it, fun. It, it overstayed its welcome, but it was pretty good. No, yeah, I, I, oh thought my, it, I miss it. Dude, I thought it was so fucking boring seeing people. I'm going to just fucking start drama. Seeing these fucking tweets from these, these content creators making a list of all the names. It's like, oh, this is the cool kids table. Oh, yeah, that was oh, weird. Oh, yeah. God. <laughs> I don't I remember any of this. That. I just I just play with my friends. I did not yeah. do this for content. I just played with my homies on Discord. That's it. Oh, I I just I I did not like it. And then there was ranked among us lobbies. Dude, that, that's oh, yeah. that was the that, point where yeah. I checked out. I was like, you guys are taking this too serious. It's a party game. Yeah. It was like this is cringe. Um, yeah, it's dumb. Oh no. But, but you know what? To this point, you're talking yeah. about how like there's not like that game anymore. That game, yeah. I wonder if and, I, and you see this all the time, dude. People get on Twitter and they're like. Oh, there's no games to play. There's no games to play. I, I don't believe that. I, I really think there's not it's no like, games bitch, to play. Shut the fuck up. It's so like, obnoxious it's, to it's me, complete dude. Bullshit. Like I've been playing, dude. I've been going so fucking hard in Path of Exile. Have any of y'all played that? I, I, I installed bit. it, but I haven't played it yet. Okay. For, for to play the so new. So you have to read out. a book in order to play it. Why? It's dude, because, it's so much. There's so, so much think of a talent tree. Okay. Yeah. Think of a talent forest. Yeah. Okay. There's five of those. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've, I've, seen, I've seen the talent. And they're all in, and they're all in different ecosystems. Yeah. 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 And, and they do matter. So one, they will affect other ecosystems. Well, but why are you, you know playing? Why are you playing now? Because there's a new league. New that league came just came out. out. And like, so I'm playing this fucking build where I have to. Oh my god! To explain the build, it takes an hour. So effectively, 
I'm using skeletons to kill the skeletons, to do damage to myself, to cast a spell whenever I take damage, and basically just make myself shit out a million fucking spells <laughs> and run around and kill everything. So, And I, I have to work for an entire week to even be able to play the build. Now, to be fair, yeah. PoE is not as scary as Asim's making it sound, but no, here's what makes PoE cool. What's cool is that it can be that scary. And, and there, or it could be a little more casual. There are people yeah. who have played it's okay. the game for 10 years, and you can ask them. Even people who play it professionally. They're like, do you know a lot about the game? They're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything about this game. I just like when the fire just circles around my character. Well, like the fire circle, and then I run in there, and they die. Just die. <laughs> it's so cool. I've been doing that for a while. I did what, that, too. Uh, speaking of PoE, we talked about Diablo 4 a little bit. Yeah. Did you? Uh, how do you feel about Diablo Four coming out? I am so happy that Diablo Four yeah. is going to come out. I'm going to play the fucking shit out of it. I'm going to farm it. I really make. I really hope they make it pay to win because that's going to be so. Good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! And oh, by the way, the guy. Do you remember at BlizzCon 2019? Don't you guys have phones? Yeah. 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 Yep. That guy actually makes YouTube videos. And he made a YouTube video like a week ago. And it's like he coded, uh, his name's Wyatt Chang. He coded Flappy Bird with chat GPT. The video has almost 5 million views. Really? That It's the don't you guys have phones guy. I guess we do have phones. I guess we fucking do. <laughs> and it's so crazy. I, I remember like there was that. And then he fucking made that, that bullshit up about Diablo Immortal. Did any of you guys play Diablo Immortal? Yeah. No, I watched it. So basically, the only way for you to stream and play Diablo Immortal effectively was to have a counter of how much money you were spending on the game yep. to make a joke about it because <laughs> it was just such a ridiculous, degenerate game. Wasn't it $25 a Greater Rift? Twenty. So you had to do, yeah, basically. Was Greater Rift like a temple? Uh, no, it's like a, you go into this dungeon. No, they were a temple, actually. Oh, they were a temple? Uh, so, so you would have, um, there were etern uh, legendary eternal crests, and you could put in one crest, three crests and then after you put in three crests there was an additional option this is the harpoon for the whales seven additional crests each each one of these runs would take two minutes and you would finish it and you'd get a chest with a bunch of legendary items and each run would take about 20 to 25 dollars and you would do it in two minutes so you were just racking up the money quinn spent twenty five thousand dollars in how long? Jesus Christ. A week, maybe? Uh, maybe two weeks? A week? Bro, that's yeah. ridiculous. And, and But he got his five-star gem. Uh, oh, that's worth it. Oh, yeah. you know what? But, but I, he, I think I saw the clip where he got it. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But you need, you need so you need uh, nine different five-star gems, but then on top of that, you need five-star gems to go inside of your five-star gems. So he actually needed to do that about 27 more times. Yeah. Bro a lot <laughs> there, was a, there was a guy like three days after the release of the game that had spent fifty thousand dollars insanity that's what yep. pisses me off about diablo Immortals. it gives a bad name to gotcha games there actually are good gotcha games out there oh really yep cookie <laughs> run <laughs> kingdom baby oh my god what is that cookie run kingdom it's a cute ass game you play as cookies and then you fight with the cookies and it's fun so they, they act all cute so they can steal your money yep 100 percent. what is it what people don't know it's they're literal cookies in your browser yeah, exactly. what's happening is they're actually going to infect your computer. They're, they're like, all your data. They're, they're keeping up with like they, they have the cookies <laughs> that will automatically access your bank account data so they can know exactly how to price different mm -hmm. things based off of your current but, checking balance. Based off your, your spending habits. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. I will say, though, uh, Seven Deadly Sins Origin and Wuthering Waves. Those are the two future gotcha games. I'm telling you. I'm is hoping Wuthering Waves consider considered a Genshin or, or not Genshin? Fucking, fucking gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, 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 uh, gotcha, there's gotcha elements in there. Okay. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know. Dude, I'm, I'm hoping to God those two games come out before you try Genshin. Uh huh. So that way you just can just skip that part. Right. Okay. Because I feel like, because gotchas, bro, they suck if you don't start day one. They really do. Really? But if yeah. you start day one, they're like the best. It's like an MMO, bro. Really? I don't want to start an MMO four months after the new expansion. I want to be there day why? one. Why? I feel like you just go into why spend more money. <laughs> That's the problem. You want to dude. Everything. It's so bad yeah. for me. If I'm behind it, if I'm behind the gotcha, I'll drop like five thousand dollars day one. And I cannot do that anymore, man. I can't. Why not? Be because I, about the, I saw the Lost Ark thing. What'd you see? The 35. Yeah. 
That's true. I don't know how long people think $35,000 is going to last me with the streams Probably that I've been doing. at least doing. a few days. Dude, <laughs> dude, I did, I think just this week, I spent over $8,000 on the streams that I've done. I think that's a mistake. Why is that? Why did you do that? Because I went to WeebCon. And you know what I get to see at WeebCon? Bunny Girls. So is that that etchy thing or whatever it fucking is called? <laughs> etchy? Yeah, yeah it's like is, wait, what is what is etchy? So it's like fucking, it's some. Uh, it's like porn, it like, but it's not. It means like lewd. So it, it's yeah. like, okay, so wait, so is it lewd or okay, is it so etchy? so so you have like all right, it's so hentai oh. is Pornhub. Yeah, etchy is OnlyFans. Well, I would it, say it's I more like I feel like I feel like hentai is Pornhub, yeah, but it's like you know, it, it's oh, oh not, I you know, I it's not like it, it, it's 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 more like hentai is Pornhub and etchy is like the 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 hot tub section on Twitch. Really? Yeah, oh, I thought it was more. Okay. Than that. that's that's really, yeah, see, I feel like that's a, a greater differentiation. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, is it? Though? It's just suggestive. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. It's not oh, like, that's like, what saying. So, like, what was it like whenever you went there? Oh my God! It was the best convention I've ever been really? to. Really? I actually was thinking about going. For I wish you did. It was yeah. in this place called Gaylord Texan Resort. I've been to uh-huh. the Gaylord. It's beautiful. It's it's actually sick. I got a presidential suite. There was waterfalls. There was windmills. For some reason, and I'm not kidding, if you if you watch my stream, I had like six thousand people watching, which for me was awesome. Okay. Uh, for some reason, everybody knew me there, yeah. which is great because at anime cons, I bet I'm very, they did. Is that is that is that concerning or <laughs> no? It it was awesome. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was it was awesome. Like I'm, this reminds I'm, me of something, but keep going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so cool. Everybody was so nice. I got to meet like all my VTuber friends in person for the first time. Mm-hmm. Like I met uh, Camilla, uh, Porcelain, uh, sorry, Joel. Um, Cinder, I was gonna meet Momo, but then I missed her. Uh, yeah, like Fifi, like oh god, Silver was thinking you about. Sound going, like you're then... listing out dog names. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Fifi, Fifi Cinder. Spot. Yeah, <laughs> bro. Oh my god, it was so cool. Cause like the other thing I love about anime cons is, is that like I'm like six in most social situations, but like when I'm talking to weebs, I'm like a ten. Yeah, so I feel like a god because everybody's so awkward, but I can talk to everybody. Did anybody so cool. bring their body pillow? Yeah, of course. Did they have you sign their body pillow? Yes. Yes. Okay. Wait, no, no. Actually? Yes. On stream. <laughs> there was these two chicks. Yeah. So hot. Right. I'm not kidding you. So hot. There it is. Yeah, and they had a sign that said $10 and we'll sit on you. And I'm like, well, shit. I got $400 on me right now. Oh, my God. And I go over and I say, excuse me. I would like to redeem this little this little token. They turn to me and they go, oh, my God, Tech Tone. No way, we're huge fans. They sit on me for free. And wow. It, and I got a photo of it on my Twitter, and I put, best day ever. It was amazing. Oh, my and then, God. And then get this shit. So I have this other buddy called Senna. Yeah. And she has this thing called uh, Call It A Dub, and she does this little dance. If you ever see that uh, clip, like I apologize. Like Fortnite? No. no. Well, yeah, kind of okay. like Fortnite. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm showing it to this cosplayer who's cosplaying Jay Schlatt. Okay. Uh, and his uh dr- and his dream SMP. Did he bring persona. a gun? I think so. Okay. Cool. Oh, then, yeah, yes. Get this. Yeah. So their girlfriend wanted to propose to them. Uh-huh. So they stream sniped me so she could propose on an OTK stream and that way it would be like memorialized people would see it oh wow yeah. that's and so then nice everybody saw it and it was you know what it was a very nice moment it was wow. very that's sweet. cool yeah and then i bought a whole bunch of cool statues and the girls were very nice to me i paid another girl five dollars to slap me it was very cool i kissed anime girl posters and it was a nice time i loved anime cons bro how did it smell you know what really good no. I mean, this is the Gaylord Tex when we're talking. Yes. About. Okay. I mean, the people, the restaurants were nice. I got some very nice gelato. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And it was honestly one of the best weekends of my life. The, the Gaylord is actually phenomenal. Yeah. 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 I, I wish some of y'all could have gone. It was a, it was a pleasure. I, I, dude. Oh my. And and the people who ran it were very nice. They gave me free access. Because I said Tech Tone were a huge fan. Really? I don't That's get amazing. that too much, Asmund. So go. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get those. Thankfully, <laughs> they weren't Asmund redditors. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy you mentioned how how so many people recognized you at yeah. WeebCon. Yeah. So like, I mean, it, it's just like the environment that you're in and the kind of people that you'll, yeah. you'll come across. So I went to the Renaissance Fair the other week. Yeah. And I'm there with people that are 
far more interesting and famous than I am, right? Yeah. Like where they were like Jessica Negri, uh-huh. Sear. Right? Oh, you went to that? Yeah. I was there too. You were there? I was with Sear and Jessica Negri at the beginning and then we got lost. <laughs> and then I could never <laughs> find him again. I Yeah, I mean, I, I showed you the photos. I showed up at like one. Bro, that makes me so mad. I was there too. Oh my, that's <laughs> okay. so lame. Well, anyway, I walk in past the ticket area i as soon as i walk in it was literally like someone over here wait s band hey go take a picture of somebody turn around somebody else comes over picture. so like it was so funny because i'm like of course the guy who spent years playing world of warcraft oh there it is Mm -hmm. of course the guy who spent years playing world of warcraft shows up to the renaissance fair and half the people don't know him it was just non surprise literally seven people within a span of about five minutes right in front of the god damn it'll be so funny you'll be happy to know Ain't nobody saying my name with that. <laughs> I mean, zero. I'm only relevant in anime stores and anime cons. And when I'm yeah. there, oh my God. That's how it's, it works. It's incredible. I got that and then the the Boomer Variety games. That's another one. Sick. Yeah. Those are the those are the two audiences. I always have people that will just come up to me. Hey, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it, hey, there it is, dude. There he is, dude. I heard you say that. Uh, oh, dude. I love you, dude. Oh, my gosh dude the funniest thing happened to me yeah so i'm uh i'm at the gym right i go, I go to the gym for something you know occasionally uh and uh at, at the gym i'm i'm walking out and the guy uh some guy sees me he's like you're that streamer guy you're that, you're that streamer guy aren't you i'm like hey yeah he's like yeah I, I don't know your name but you're friends with asmongold man i, I love asmongold man he's he is so funny i love when he opens the box and says there it is dude it is so funny and he, he just thought it was never there <laughs> <laughs> it was like it was great because i'm sitting there talking to him and, and he talks to me for like five minutes and the guy doesn't even know my name yeah but he wants to just talk to me about wow and i just i just talked to him it was a nice conversation yeah but it was so interesting to me because it was like this is it he was like asmin is so funny and then he mentions something that is like in his mind the pinnacle of comedy, but it's not even a joke. It's just like a random comment that Asmin yeah. makes. Yeah. <laughs> he was just so enthralled by it. Whenever he walks away from his desk, he does that weird thing with his arm. Oh, it's uh, so great. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's so God. funny. <laughs> it's like there's a hundred things that Asmin does that's funny, and but he just mentions like something that's just like oh, just a one-off something, comment. Yeah, some dumbass shit. Yeah, but it goes back to what you said. Yeah. The stupidest thing is going to be the most act. interesting to the most people. There it is. There it is, there it is dude. Yeah. There it so is, dude. The truth is, as you guys could probably fucking tell, we could talk about this shit oh my for gosh. three more hours. However, we are going to call it a day. And uh, today is actually kind of a big day for us because, as I think you probably know by now, based off of the description and everything, we have officially launched our Patreon. <gasps> so there we go. Wow, look at that. Wait, do I get a cut for today's episode? Uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, basically what's going to happen is that we're going to go ahead, we're going to you know, do the little Patreon part of the show and uh, all that, a little bit of the extra content. And we want to say uh, this is the 10th episode, right? Yep. yep. Is that right? Yeah. 10th episode. Thank you guys all so much for all the support for all. it's now been three months. I I, I think that's, that's, that's how the math would work. Yeah. Yeah. It's something like that. Thank you guys so much for uh, all the support, believing in us and making this new podcast and all that. It was kind of a, it was a leap of faith. And so uh, I'm glad that you all have been there for it. And uh, thanks a lot, S fan for coming on the show and uh, being a part of it. Thank you. S fan. Thanks S fan. So yes or no, I don't get a cut. So here's the thing. Like, so there's basically, so there's like a 60 day payment period. And then oh. after the 60 day payment period, there's like a holding period after that. Oh, and then okay. after the holding period, then there's like a disbursement time. Oh, okay. And then outside of that time period, then there's like a tax allocation. And then oh, after the tax allocation, reasonable. there's like a health mm. insurance, like, and then like self-employment, like okay. a, a, another type of tax. And then after that, there's like an accounting thing. And then you can talk to somebody probably after that. Okay. And then. Well, I, should I email? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just email I'll pretty just much whoever. It. Yeah. They'll, they'll figure it out. Be fine. So yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. We appreciate it. And, uh, we're good. See you, yeah. See you in the next one. Yeah. And on the Patreon. Mm-hmm. Thanks. There's a little glimmer that I can see A spark